I'm in Vancouver. In a rooftop hot tub. You betcha, I'm gonna make the most of free fancy wine on board while it lasts. It's solo Chloe here, it's still. As you can see, I have a complete look of terror in my eyes. It's gonna be a rush, but let's see what happens. I gotta say, I'm not complaining about this. Welcome back to the channel guys. This video marks the end of my time in the UK as I finally make my way towards Canada. The original destination before I decided to throw in all of these extra little excursions. I flew business class for my first time, slept on a luxury train, stayed in a fitness hotel room and in an 18 square meter micro studio. It is now time to make my way out of the city and on to Heathrow Airport. This next journey has me flying from London to Montreal to Vancouver and finally Nelson, Canada. I was really looking forward to spending the next day or so hanging out in airport hotels, my favorite, and premium airport lounges. But little did I know, this journey to Ludwig was about to take me over 50 hours. And also little did I know, sooner than I expected, I was about to embark on my second ever business class experience. Hi guys, it's Solo Chloe here once again. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Let me explain where I am right now. It's the Radisson Blue Edwardian London. Why am I at another airport hotel? Yes, this is another airport hotel. I just love staying at airport hotels. If you haven't yet seen my capsule hotel stay at Gatwick Airport, I'll link that up here. You can go and take a watch. But stick around for this one first and then actually go and watch that one, please. Thank you. So I could have stayed one extra night in London Central, but I kind of decided I'd rather not have the hectic rush tomorrow to get to my flight, get all the trains, the underground to get to the airport. I decided instead to head to Heathrow the night before, have a relaxing evening. Plus bonus, the hotels here are way cheaper than anything in Central London. This beautiful hotel here was only 220 New Zealand dollars, including breakfast. And if you haven't stayed at a Radisson Blue Hotel and had their breakfast, you do not know what you're missing out on. Plus, one of the reasons I booked this hotel is on the pictures, it looked like the fitness center was amazing here. As well as a superb looking hotel gym, this place also has a spa. As a hotel guest, apparently you can use a steam room and sauna. So that's something I absolutely am looking forward to. So I paid for just your standard, basic, cheapest room, which was 220 New Zealand, including breakfast. But when I got here, I had the lovely surprise of being upgraded to a Premier King Room? I think she said it's called a Premier King Room. Premium? Anywho, it is so spacious. This bed literally is massive. I've got this really fancy looking headboard that looks like big brown bubble things. And I've got so much space in here. P.S. That bathroom is delightful as well. Okay, well it's official really. What makes a great hotel in my eyes is do they have a magnify mirror? Ah yes, it does have one. Perfect. I've got so much storage space, not that I have much here, because my two bags are still sitting at Heathrow Airport luggage storage. Hopefully they're still there. One more cool detail. I got a free drink. Enjoy a drink on us. Also, trying to find my room, guys, no joke, I got so lost. This hotel is massive. Plus, I was walking past rooms that have names like Presidential Suite. Let's go and check out the really nice hotel gym. Maybe the sauna and steam room if it's not super awkward and I'm not filming naked people. And I have to show you the lobby. The lobby here is like a magical Christmas wonderland. Let's go and take a look around this amazing hotel. Airport hotel. saw my fitness hotel video, you may already know that I am a little bit obsessed with hotel gyms. Let me know down below if this is also something you are obsessed with. But I can almost guarantee 90% of you are not. 
As I began to approach the wellness spa area of this hotel, I started to realize this was going to be no ordinary hotel gym. I had seen photos online, but I didn't think the fitness facility would be this large or well equipped. I was literally in heaven. Went straight back to my hotel room to get changed and get ready for a workout ASAP. Ready to roll. Let's go to the hotel gym on a Sunday night at the airport. I know my life is so thrilling, but really, really it is. <laughs> well, that was delightful. I did not expect that insane crowd here. There was definitely a wedding going on and I'm pretty sure it was an Indian wedding, which I've heard are the most amazing weddings. I'm fairly certain I might've seen the bride and wow, their outfits are amazing. If I could go to an Indian wedding one day, I would be so happy. They look like the most incredible celebrations. That was so nice. I had a glass of red wine, sat beside a Christmas tree, whilst the rest of the pub was watching some kind of a football game. I did a little bit of work, now I've come back to the room and oh my goodness, it's 8pm and I haven't had dinner, so I'm gonna get some room service ASAP. Hopefully have an early night, and my plan is to go and use the spa in the morning, which I probably won't bring any kind of cameras into, because not only would that be a little bit creepy, slash I might ruin my technology, slash also I kind of just want to enjoy myself, so that's the plan for the morning. Yay! I just got my room service delivered. I got some tomato soup. Yum! That looks so good. With some warm bread. And then I opted for... Oh my gosh, yum! That looks amazing. It's like a salmon with lemon and kale. And even better, the holiday's on. Good night! <laughs> Oh my god, I just did it. <laughs> I just upgraded as I was checking in online. I've never done that before. That was such an adrenaline rush. <laughs> okay, that's officially all of my savings gone. I'm not one of those super savvy, like, points and miles people yet because coming from New Zealand, we don't really have all those cool credit card offers that I watch all over YouTube, so. I have air points, which is really, really cool. This time I just did an old-fashioned upgrade as I was checking in online. I met with my friend in London who's actually a travel agent, and she advised me that the price that I paid for my upgrade is actually far cheaper than what I would have paid for the original business class flight, so that is exciting. Just YOLO. If this is my last little adventure before heading off to Canada, I just went for it, you know. I'm gonna sip this coffee and then I am gonna head downstairs to the spa. What is my life? What is my life? It's so funny because I've been applying for jobs at the place that I'm moving to. I've applied for dishwashing and housekeeper jobs. Like, I'm not a fancy person, by all means. When I do get those opportunities, boy do I live it up. Obviously, I was very excited about taking the leap and upgrading to business class for the very first time with Air Canada. I jumped out of bed early to make the most of the hotel gym, spa and breakfast. Well, I just got back from gym and the spa and I think that's my new favourite way to start the day before a flight, to be honest. That was so incredibly fancy. I obviously couldn't take my phone to take videos because that would have been super creepy and inappropriate, but... They had a sauna, a steam room, a hot tub, and these nice cozy relaxation bed things with like really soothing music going on in the background. I just felt so relaxed. And my favorite part of all was they had this little shower section. Each button was like a different style of shower. One was like waterfall, one was like tropical rainforest, one was cold mist. So many different types of water and different temperatures. And of course I always went for the nice cold one because I love going from hot to cold. I learned that in Sweden. They had a little cold plunge. Now it's time to do something with this crazy hair, go downstairs and check out the breakfast. Ludwig and I have stayed at the Radisson Blue a fair few times in different places around the world. And two things we notice that are very consistent and the two reasons we keep coming back is that they always seem to really prioritize their fitness center. Every time I've stayed in one of their hotels, the gym has always been really impressive and a step above the rest. 
The second thing we always love about Redison Blue is that they consistently have an incredible breakfast buffet. I love how fresh the food always is, how much variety there is, and they always seem to offer barista made coffees rather than just the regular filter or machine coffees. And guaranteed, they'll offer my fave. Yes, I am rather fond of the hash brown. All right, I've just picked up all my luggage from the luggage storage place. <sighs> what a workout. It's pretty cool that I was able to get rid of these things just for my little trip though. Now off to find departures. All right, another day, another airport lounge. Okay, so I've just spent about an hour in the lounge. Went through the fast track security. It's more like a slow track to be honest. There were so many people just taking their time, doing the wrong thing, repacking their bags. So apparently boarding started about eight minutes ago. So I'm gonna head to the gate and hopefully not miss my flight. Pretty excited, we've got priority boarding. Let's go and get this flight. Welcome to my home for the next few hours. My first flight from Heathrow to Montreal was set to be around 8 hours long or 7 hours 45 minutes. However, when I looked at the screen, it said 6 and a half hours. Usually I would be quite happy about the quicker flight time, but in this case, I was rather sad because it meant I was getting less time in this luxurious seat. But oh well, you know me, and I definitely made the most of the entire 6 and a half hours. For the sake of this video not being a million hours long, if you saw my very first business class flight video, that thing was well over 40 minutes and you guys actually watched it, which is cool. So on that note, I'm going to be posting my full Air Canada business class experience next week in a whole separate video. If you are a super flight nerd like I am, you're going to love all of the juicy Air Canada business class details that I put into next week's video. So make sure you watch out for that one. I got a bright yellow amenity kit, was handed my fancy pre-takeoff bubbles, and I have a gander at my menu for the flight ahead. Look at me trying to be all serious and act normal. Secretly inside, my heart is racing and I feel like happy dancing up and down the aisle, but I remain composed and act cool. I ripped straight into my first delicious meal and selected, of course, a classic horror movie that hopefully didn't scare anyone. The lay flat bed on these flights seriously never get any less exciting. I feel like I almost annoy my neighbors as I play with all of the settings 100 times over. I take a brief moment during all of the fun to look at my Swedish hunk and get excited that the countdown is really on now to give him a massive big kiss. Uh, we're going to have you on the gate about 20 minutes early at uh, 3.50 and uh, right now the local time is 3.20. Latest weather, uh, open cast skies and 5 degrees Celsius. Once again, thanks for choosing Air Canada. We do appreciate the business and sincerely hope to see you again in the future. Oh my goodness, this hotel room was the nicest surprise ever. What? Hold up, let's just rewind a little bit. I just went on my second ever business class flight from London Heathrow to Montreal, Canada in Air Canada business class. And let me tell you, holy moly, that is never gonna get old. That was so much fun. I wonder if you enjoyed watching it as much as I enjoyed the experience. Please let me know. So basically, I got my Canadian visa. I've just been to the immigration and they've just given me my Canadian visa. <laughs> I'm so excited. I'm officially allowed to work here for the next three years. Don't worry, we're gonna do a whole video giving you the rundown, all of the juicy deets, and how that whole process worked for us. Also, I get really frustrated if I feel like my camera is like slightly off center. Oh, is anyone else like that? Like if something is not completely in line, it just bugs me. Hopefully I'm right in the center. As soon as I stepped off the plane, it was about 4 p.m. here in Montreal, technically around nine-ish in London. So I'm surprised I'm still so wide awake. I've had a lot of free coffees in business class. I booked in a night at the Doubletree Hilton 
and my oh my am I surprised. Hope you're not getting too bored of these exciting little hotel airport rooms I'm booking because I'm definitely not getting bored of it. I just booked a yeah, standard basic hotel room and I've just walked in and it is an absolutely massive room. This bed is so big. <laughs> I'm being so spoiled with how amazing these hotel room beds have been. And oh, as soon as I've stepped into Canada, like literally the service and the friendliness of people just hits you. Even just the lady on the hotel front desk, so professional, so friendly, so polite. Just such a nice vibe all around. When I checked in, they gave me this cute little warm walnut cookie. It literally was piping hot when she first gave it to me, but now I've let it sit down for a while and it's kind of lukewarm. It smells delicious. And also, I did not expect this, but check out what is in my hotel room. The capsule coffee machine. So as I mentioned, I'm here in Montreal on a 15 hour layover. Tomorrow morning at 7.30, I've got my next flight, which takes me to Vancouver. I'm in Vancouver for 40 minutes, and then I'm on a little one hour flight to a place called Castlegar, which is basically our nearest airport to Nelson, where Ludwig will pick me up. And the most exciting part is that I'm on business class again, probably for my last time in a long time. It's apparently five hours and 45 minutes, so hopefully it doesn't get any shorter this time. Please be a slow flight. Please be a slow flight. So 15 hours in Montreal and I'll only be seeing the airport and the hotel. Don't worry, Ludwig and I actually plan to visit Montreal properly later this year, so make sure you stay tuned for that. I check into yet another airport hotel and am delighted by yet another really lovely place. It didn't quite have the spa and gym that my last hotel had, but to be honest, I was pretty tired and jet lagged. I order some Uber Eats, hit the hay, and before I know it, I'm awakening bright and early at 3 a.m. I was obviously far too excited for my second flight with Air Canada today. Here I go, this is my last business class flight for the meantime, before I decide I want to book another one, despite what Ludwig says. Here we go to Vancouver. Upon arrival at Montreal Airport, I saw that my flight was delayed 40 minutes. I wasn't super stressed in the moment, as it allowed me more time for bagels and coffee in the lounge. However, I did already have a really short layover in Vancouver before catching my final flight to Castlegar, so it did leave me a little concerned. I had already almost ticked off 30 whole hours on my very long journey to Lidvig, and there was just two more short flights to go until we were finally reunited. Or so I thought. Make sure you stay tuned to see what happens. Despite being a little bit stressed about making my next flight, for now it was all about enjoying and making the absolute most of my last business class seat for probably a long time. Welcome to my home for the next 5 hours and 45 minutes. I just get comfy and boom, it is already breakfast time. Although I'm full on free lounge bagels, I lap up any opportunity to experience business class food. I'm always so surprised at how promptly they serve you food in here. It feels like it's almost immediate. Now, it is 8am in the morning, but you betcha I'm going to make the most of free fancy wine on board while it lasts. Well, it's not really free, is it? But nevertheless, I'm going to make the most of it. Would you do the same? Let me know below. With a nice 5 hour, 45 minute flight, I had just enough time to squeeze in two whole movies. So I wasted no time in selecting some goodies and I was happy to see one of my favourite movies ever. This is such a good film. If you haven't seen it, I definitely recommend if you like freaky thrillers with lots of twists. Really 
don't go hungry on these journeys. You can pretty much order any snacks and drinks 24 seven. You're so looked after and the flight attendants are all so attentive the entire flight. It's really a crazy experience. And of course, I always make the absolute most of this. I should probably lay off the coffee, but I'm way too excited to see Lidvig. I'm a little bit sleepy and I just can't stop drinking it. As we start to approach Vancouver, I get really sad, but not too sad because I am just a few hours away from being reunited with my little Ludwig. And after being apart for three and a half months, the anticipation was real. Okay, so since this flight was delayed, I'm not sure if I'm gonna make it to my connection that takes me to Kasuga Airport, which is my final destination. I literally have about 20 minutes to get from this flight gonna be a rush. Let's see what happens. I rushed slash sprint walked from one gate to the next to desperately make it in time for my next flight, only to arrive at the gate huffing and puffing and being greeted by the most laid back crew ever. Turns out I rushed for nothing and we literally boarded at the time my ticket said that we were going to take off. I guess this small town flight life is pretty easy going. Anyway, I board this tiny little plane, settle into my seat for a nice quick 40 minute flight before the strangest thing that's ever happened to me on a flight happened. So we can get in there. We'll go on uh, fine into the area and if the weather hasn't improved any for us, we'll probably just return back to Vancouver. Uh, I won't keep you advised on that situation. Thanks for your attention. <sighs> well, hey, guess what? It's Solo Chloe here. Still. I'm solo still. I've just been on a very, very strange expedition. The captain did warn, we may have to go over Castlegar and then turn around and go back to Vancouver because the weather is not too good. I've never been in that situation before. I thought, okay, surely not. Surely we're not gonna hop on the plane and go all the way there just to turn around. That's crazy, I've never done that before. But guess what guys, sure enough, we flew all the way over Castle Gar. I waved down at Lidvig at the airport, and then we did a little swirl, and now we're back in Vancouver. I just spent an hour and a half on the plane just to turn around and go back to Vancouver. This is hilarious. Okay, so now what, you might ask? I was honestly freaking out a little bit, especially because the announcement made by the Air Canada crew said that because their flight was cancelled for weather reasons, they will not be able to reimburse or offer any free accommodation. <sighs> and then my heart sunk and I was like, oh my goodness, I'm literally not in the position where I can keep on booking these luxury hotels by myself because I've done enough of that and I really got to start saving again. As you can see, the complete and utter look of terror in my eyeballs. Upon returning to Vancouver, they literally called out three names out of the whole plane. My heart dropped thinking, oh crap, what's wrong? And in the meantime, my thoughts were shit. I've just spent all this money on upgrading and treating myself to luxury. I cannot afford to be spending another $500 in an airport hotel in Vancouver. These places were super pricey. Plus, what if my flight gets canceled again tomorrow? That's another $500 to $600 gone. What the heck am I going to do? Well, here I am, folks, at the fancy Marriott Hotel, Vancouver Airport. This hotel room has Netflix and a coffee capsule machine with a mysterious looking box coffee capsules. Lovely. This lush room usually charges $500 Canadian and this room cost me, well, nothing at all. If you want to find out how I got this hotel room completely free, be sure to tune into next week's video where I highlight my entire Air Canada business class experience. Sorry to leave you hanging, but it makes sense to pop it in that video for all you points, miles, business class flight nerds. Plus, I got two $10 vouchers for food at the airport, hence my extravagant splurge on Subway. Footlong veggie delight, not one, not two. But three cookies, because I had $20 to spare. Salt and vinegar crisps that may or may not be completely crumbled from sitting in my pocket in the shuttle to the hotel. And to top it all off, a Pepsi no sugar. I'm feeling a bit delirious because I've been up since 3am this morning. So I'm probably just gonna 
eat this foot long and then decide what I'm gonna do next. Okay, if I have any chance of staying awake until a decent hour tonight, I mean, it's four o'clock and I literally am like forcing myself not to go to bed. I need to get out of the room and do something. Of course, I went to check out the hotel gym and I spotted they have a really nice little rooftop pool and hot tub. I'm not one to usually go and use hot tubs and things on my own, so what better way to enjoy a little transit at the airport hotel than to sit in a rooftop hot tub? The only problem is I don't have any swimwear with me, so I'm gonna go in my undies and sports bra and hope that no one notices. My legs. Ooh. I'm in Vancouver in a rooftop hot tub. What is life? And there's literally snow right beside me. Right there. I just pressed this big black button right here. Looks like it's bubbles. Oh. oh my goodness, what am I doing? It's really not that bad. So, yes, I miss Ludwig, and I really had my heart set on seeing him today. However, however, I gotta say I'm not complaining about this. Am I glad that we turned around in Castle Gar and the plane just like hovered above Ludwig and then turned around to go to Vancouver? Am I glad? Oh, that'd be a bit of a push, but uh, you know, I I'm, I'm not disappointed. I'm not disappointed at all. Okay, it's officially night time. I think it's about time I hop out of here. But I really don't want to. Got up, I had a coffee, I went to the hotel gym, which was surprisingly busy this morning. There was three guys like running a marathon on the treadmills. Now I'm gonna make the most of my free coffee in the room, do a little bit of work, and then head to my third lounge in two days. And let's hope, fingers crossed, I get on this flight today and I actually see Ludwig. Also, I know it's not the most nutritious post-workout meal, but I'm super determined to stick with this trend of not spending any money on food in the last three days. So Subway cookies for breakfast, it is. Luckily I got three. airport to our small town of Nelson is Castlegar Airport, which I later found out that this place is also known as Cancelgar. 
This made a lot of sense after my very interesting experience. Due to our very remote and secluded location in the Canadian mountains, apparently it is quite difficult to fly in and out of Castlegar during the winter months. And to my complete surprise, it all looked as though we just made it through the mist and were able to land in the harsh winter conditions. Of course, all of the passengers clapped for the captain for an amazing landing as everyone was just so happy to actually be getting home. I just felt an overwhelming sense of happiness that I was actually able to get here and finally see Ludwig. I really did have my doubts that we would be able to land. So I was finally reunited with my Ludwig, who appeared to have turned into a true Canadian mountain man. Comment below if you hate or love the beard. Welcome home, honey. <laughs> <laughs> After 50 plus hours of traveling, I'm finally in my new hometown. Here's Nelson. Oh, it's really cold. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching my crazy 50 plus hour travel day making my way all the way from London to Canada. This whole journey has been a long one. Starting off in Auckland, traveling all the way to San Francisco, then on to London, spending a bunch of time in the UK by myself doing all sorts of strange things, and then eventually a 50 hour hefty trip to finally arrive at my final destination. What a trip. Thanks so much for watching. And like I mentioned, be sure to stay tuned for next week's video where I delve in deep on all things Air Canada business class. I'll take you through a really fun and detailed video just like my last one so definitely hit that notification bell, hit that subscribe button if you're not subscribed already and please do give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. These of course take me a long time and I really appreciate your thumbs ups. It helps our videos in the algorithm and helps us to grow on this YouTube thing. Thanks so much and we'll see you in the next one.